As the previous Republican chair of the pivotal state of Michigan, Ronna McDaniel has received credit for helping turn the state red this past November. This despite President Trump's public feuding with her uncle, 2012 presidential nominee Mitt Romney. Now all sides move forward in the aftermath of Mr. Trump's victory. The question becomes, will the party ultimately coalesce around a Trump presidency? Been some issues with that lately, so here with me tonight and an exclusive is Ronna McDaniel, who now serves as the new chairwoman of the Republican National Committee. Ronna, welcome. Good to have you here tonight. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So congratulations to you. It's been 30 years since a woman has run the RNC, and a lot of people have made quite a bit about the fact that your name is Ronna Romney McDaniel, and your uncle was, uh, didn't mince words when it came to Donald Trump during this campaign. Well, I supported uh, Donald Trump, obviously, as chair of the Michigan Republican Party. I saw the movement firsthand when he first came yeah. into our state. And he made Michigan a battleground state because he came to the voters of our state and he said, I'm going to talk to you about jobs and the economy and trade and how you need a champion in Washington and how I need to be that champion. And so I was thrilled to have Michigan turn red for the first time since 1988 and to see President Trump in the White House. You know, obviously much has been made on the Democrat side of the war on women. Um, how instrumental do you think you can be as a woman running the RNC? Well, first of all, I look at uh, Donald Trump as somebody who's a champion of women. His daughter, Ivanka, is a role model. I have a 13-year-old daughter. She's somebody that I point to as a businesswoman and a mother who balances all those things and who's fighting for women in the workplace. You have Kellyanne Conway, who ran the first successful presidential campaign in the history of our country as a woman. And then President Trump coming to me and tapping me to be the RNC chair. Donald Trump is a champion of women. He recognizes that uh, we add to the conversation, and that's certainly something as Republican Party chair, I'm going to be reaching out to women all across this country. You know, obviously, we just got through the presidential election just a few months ago. Um, but in your business, at the head of the RNC, you're going to be all about the next election. And there's much being said about the fact that the GOP, a lot of the leaders currently on Capitol Hill, are dragging their feet on some very major issues, and that a lot of people expected faster progress on things like tax reform. They expected that they would be ready with repeal and replace. Um, how do you feel about that, being out there in the next battleground for campaigns? Well, the Democrats are dragging their feet on Capitol Hill. We have seen unprecedented obstruction by Democrats uh, with President Trump. He still has eight cabinet nominations that he needs to get through the Senate. They are preventing our government from functioning at the level that the American people deserve. And President Obama never faced this. So to see the Democrats do what they are doing is so wrong to the American people. They deserve a government, and President Trump deserves that. He was elected. But my question, excuse uh, me, was, about, was on your side of the aisle in terms of the GOP uh, and people wanting to see much faster progress. I did a town hall last night in Florida, and one of the things that was loud and clear was that they are less concerned about President Trump and more concerned about Republicans getting stuff done in Congress when they have the opportunity. Well, they're working as hard as they can as they're dealing with the obstruction of the Democrats. But we've seen our cabinet appointees being made or those nominations going through at 2 in the morning as Senate senators are staying late so they can get But that's not preventing uh, Republicans from coming up with an alternative to Obamacare. Well, they are. Uh, Speaker Ryan's focusing on that. They're focusing on deregulation. Look at what the Trump administration has put forward in the first 30 days. Uh, the Keystone Pipeline is back on track. We've uh, focused on deregulation of the coal industry so jobs can come back to that all-important industry. Uh, TPP, we've pulled out of that and said we're going to find better ways to do bilateral trade deals. And, of course, a Supreme Court justice nominee and Judge Gorsuch. So I, I hear Republicans you, I hear you are rolling. All of those they fronts, support our president. They're going to keep focusing on supporting our president. But right now, we've got to get our government running. And 73 percent of Americans are saying Democrats need to work with President Trump uh, to get our government running. And, and, we and need Republicans them to come need on to board. work with, with Donald Trump in order to get the government running. And I'm just, I'm just, you know, I guess pushing to know whether or not you're concerned about that, whether or not that's something that you've been speaking about with members of the Republican National Committee, uh, because there are Republicans who are pushing back against the repeal of Obamacare, and they're hearing it in these town halls across the country. Um, what, would your, what would your recommendation be to those Republicans? Well, I think the Republicans are gathering the facts. They recognize that the Democrats broke 
the American health care system. Their constituents are concerned, and they're going to take the time to make sure they do it right and not rush things through like the Democrats did, and which is why we're dealing with the mess we are dealing with right now with Obamacare. So as Republican congressional leaders and senators are going out and talking to their constituents, they're listening to their concerns, and we're all better served when we have a dialogue and a discussion with something as important as health care because they want to come and fix what the Democrats broke. All right. As some are impatient uh, for it to get rolling. Rana, thank you so much for talking with us tonight. Congratulations on your new post. Thanks for having me.